I'm very excited to announce that the Business Person of the Year for the Chamber of Commerce of the Mid-Ohio Valley for 2018 is Bob Fehrenbacher from Comores. Here's his segment of Carpool Karaoke with the MOV Chamber of Commerce. Well, hey, Jill. Well, hey, it's Bob Fehrenbacher from Comores. Welcome. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad we could get Good together. To Good to see you. Really excited to have you here uh, riding around with me so we can get to know Bob a little bit better, uh, find out about his involvement with the Chamber of Commerce, his involvement in the community. And so, Bob, let's start by getting to know a little bit about you. Um, tell us about where you grew up and where you went to school and all those kinds okay. of things. Well, I grew up in a little town about uh, an hour south of Chicago. It was about a thousand people in I'm one of seven kids. Where are you in the mixture? I am the, the uh, second oldest. Okay. I have one older sister. Okay, but you're the oldest boy. Yes, I'm okay. the oldest boy. Yes. And uh, I grew up in that little town, and uh, I felt like I was related to about half the people. You <laughs> know, you because were. Of, Well, that's right. <laughs> All the cousins and aunts and uncles and things like that. And then, oh, my dad was an electrician, and my mom was a school teacher. And... Uh, my dad got a job building chemical plants when I was about 11 years old, okay? So when that happened, we started moving around. So I grew up and went to many schools. And my very first job at a chemical plant was outside of Huntington, West Virginia in 1975. And was that one of the plants that your dad had built or worked on? Yes, okay. yes, yes. And so then I went off to college and studied chemical engineering and then uh, went to work for DuPont. And so where have your travels with DuPont and the different locations that they've had you? Well, I started in Texas, then I went to Louisiana, then I went to you know, Wilmington, Delaware, which is <laughs> the home base, the, the yeah. home base you know, uh, corporate headquarters, had several different assignments there. Then I went back to Texas, and then I went to New Jersey, and then I came out here about eight and a half years ago and came to the Washington Works. Very good. So tell me about some of the um, organizations that you're involved in, either a member or on a board for um, in the community. Okay. Personally, I'm involved in um, Rotary, United Way, yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, the Development Authority for Wood County, and then there are literally hundreds of other employees who spend their time and talents, you know, in other parts of the community. We have people that are on boards, we have people that volunteer their time, uh, everything from, you know, uh, coaching yeah. to church activities to the Boy Scouts to you name it. We started something last year called the Day of Giving to, to where we allow our employees to give a full day of work in the community basically at our expense that if they find an opportunity to do that and it was really successful not only did it take off here but corporate picked up on it and now <laughs> it is something that has expanded to the rest of the Comores company globally. So a, yeah, a legacy yes. across the company. Yes, yes. So tell me a little bit about your team that you work with um, here at the plant at, at Comores. It's a great team. Uh, I feel very honored and privileged to be surrounded by so many capable people. The Washington work site, you know, it's been around. We celebrated 70 years this year and it is you know, truly a blessing to be associated with all the talented people and the things that they do, not only for DuPont, now Comores, but also for, you know, the Mid-Ohio Valley and the community. Great people, great hearts, great uh, um, generosity, not only in their time, their talents, and their treasures. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. Yes. yes. Well, Bob, tell me, what's a typical day in the life of Bob, uh, other than driving around in the vehicle with <laughs> Jill, um, what's a typical day look like for you? I typically get to the office around 6 o'clock in the morning, and then depending on the day and my schedule, it, it's everything from uh, time out on the plant, conference calls, meetings, meetings with employees kind of one-on-one -on -one or employees as a group 
working on, you know, how are we doing, you know, how's our safety performance, conducting audits, talking about our, you know, business plans and what do we need to do to be successful. How many employees at the plant right now on the Camor side? On the Camor side, there's about 700 employees. Okay. This year, we just hired about 65 people and we're looking to hire about another 20 or so. You know, from your perspective, what do you envision for the Mid-Ohio Valley? You know, if you had your crystal ball um, and could shake it, what does, what does the Mid-Ohio Valley, what does Parkersburg, Vienna, Williamstown, what do we look like in, you know, 10 years from now? As, as maybe some of your legacy as the, the plant manager for Comores, Comores is an employer, the Mid Ohio Valley. So, shake your crystal ball. What does what, what what do you envision for our community? This is this is a, a great place to live. The work ethic and the culture of the people that live and work here are, is wonderful. And so, I think there's a lot of things that are beneficial to businesses. The cost of living the ability of natural resources and transportation. There, there's just a lot of positives for businesses and you know for us to be able to capitalize on that and expand that then it's going to be good for all of us. But then opportunities exist for anybody whether they're you know working for an existing company or a new company that may have just moved to the area. You know the chamber is a perfect example to you know Become a member, go to the meetings, the social interactions, all of that. It's 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 you know the opportunities are there. You just have to kind of find out where they're at, talk to some people, network, make those connections, and then the rest is you know history. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know it's nobody's fault.